Saving money is important. Right now I'm using free ketchup packets that I got at the gas station to fill up my own personal bottle and save a few bucks. I learned it on Dr. Phil when I was a kid from some guy whose wife left him. Okay, so maybe we shouldn't go crazy with it, but there's nothing wrong with wanting to get a quality product for a fair price. So today, I want to break down three cheap hidden gems available in the Nintendo Switch eShop. Number one, a short hike. We're gonna start today's video off with my favorite game on this list, and that is a short hike. This title is a sandbox platform game that ditches enemies in combat to focus on exploration and puzzles. You play as a bird named Claire who is reluctantly spending her summer at a state park, and your main objective is to get to the highest peak on the island where the park is located. There are a ton of collectibles and secrets to uncover along the way, and a community of characters that are similar to the villagers in Animal Crossing. These characters usually have some sort of mission for you or they provide tips. The gameplay borrows elements from titles such as Super Mario Odyssey and Breath of the Wild, but on a much smaller scale. I beat the game on a Sunday night in one sitting, but there's enough post-game content to keep you busy if you're a completionist. I seriously appreciate the small open world that these developers created. Honestly, I would have to say that A Short Hike is my favorite indie game of all time, and I think it deserves more appreciation. A Short Hike is $7.99 on the Nintendo Switch eShop, and I believe it is worth every penny. Canned tuna, a quality cheap source of protein. I'll eat this breakfast, lunch, and dinner when I'm on a budget. They say that it's high in mercury and it's bad to have too much because you shouldn't have that metal in your blood, but I'm not too worried about it. Although lately, magnets have been sticking to me, and I don't really know what that's all about. Number two, Vaccine. This title is a survival horror game that was heavily inspired by the first Resident Evil. If you've seen my other videos, then you may know that the original Resident Evil is one of my favorite games of all time, so I had to check this game out when I heard about it. The game has tank controls and graphics that are meant to replicate its source of inspiration, and this may drive some people nuts, but I can respect why they chose to do this. My biggest drawback with the game, though, is the fact that the mansion is randomly generated each time you play it. This means that every time you die or start a new mission, you will be clueless as to where to go. It causes a lack of depth because the game focuses on creating a Resident Evil experience in a time-limited burst rather than giving you a full game to play through over an extended period of time. The random generation of maps and weapons is still interesting even if it isn't what I prefer, and it does cause the game to always feel fresh. These developers created a Resident Evil clone with gameplay that mimics the first title well. This game is $9.99 in the Nintendo Switch eShop, and it may not be for everyone, but it was definitely made for fans of classic survival horror. Hey, there is nothing wrong with getting your antibiotics at the dollar store. Number three, Barry the Bunny. Barry the Bunny is a straightforward 2D platformer that has you controlling a bridge-building rabbit named Barry who has to travel across four worlds and 100 levels saving other rabbits and collecting carrots. You also will be collecting hammers that you use to attack enemies and wood to build bridges. This game reminds me of the games that came from the Sega Genesis more than any Nintendo system, and I think it's cool to see that style of games represented here. It most specifically reminds me of this Tom and Jerry game that I used to play on the Genesis because the sounds and visuals took me right back there when I saw Barry the Bunny. Don't be fooled by its appearance though. The title begins to get challenging as you progress and it doesn't remain as easy as you might expect. If you're a fan of retro 2D platformers, then I absolutely recommend this game. And with a price of $4.99, it's much easier to justify this purchase. So it turns out you can't trust dollar store amoxicillin. And now I gotta go see a doctor for this case of strep throat that's been sitting for far too long. Also, I only have budget health insurance, which means they only cover witch doctors. I am a big fan of Banjo-Kazooie though, so I'm open to see how it goes.